This tutorial is on the AND switch. Uh, the AND switch I really like a lot because um, the versatility of which you could use it in the game uh, for different traps or uh, triggering it with an HBHF sensor. There's just so many different features I've used the AND switch for as well as battery backup systems which I will explain in later videos but um, the way the AND switch works is it does not allow power to pass through unless the switch is powered by both inputs. So uh, therefore the name AND has to be powered by this and this. So uh, what I have rigged up here is just a basic um, branch. The branch allows uh, two power uh, by default to come out the left hand side which is the dedicated power uh, so this is only being powered by two power on the left side and all the excess power coming out of the switch right now which happens to be uh, that the windmill is producing 102 power this is putting out 100 power on the other side coming into the bottom of this uh, regular switch and therefore when I switch this on I should have 99 power coming out of the top of this and going into the second half of the AND switch to power the light uh, one other thing that's really cool about the AND switch is whichever power coming into the AND switch is the higher power is the power that is used. So therefore, uh, sometimes using this as a dedicated power on on the right hand side in this example, uh, maybe an HBHF sensor therefore powers the other side of the switch, um, creating the connection uh, to allow the power to pass through. And uh, so the HBHF sensor just acts as the trigger for the AND switch, but then you get full 100 coming out, um, well, 95 now, but uh, full 95 coming out to whatever it is you're trying to power uh, in your base. So as the example here, I'll turn on this switch. We have power on both sides, allowing power to pass through now, 91 power coming out into this light. Um, and that is how the AND switch works.